Welcome. If you're new here, here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today businessman gun down, killer caught, gun seized, steamy, soldier, plus six others killed, cops cut down teeth, and more. A Chinese businessman was killed in Orange Bay and over. The name of the Asian national who reportedly took over operations of the business from another less than two weeks ago has not yet been ascertained. The exact time of the incident is not confirmed. However, people on location said they received calls shortly after 5 o'clock. The killing took place inside a business establishment, a supermarket and a wholesale. A witness who did not wish to be identified described the Chinese man as a nice individual. The police are currently investigating the shooting death of Adrian Antman Brown, who was killed by a known assailant along Solomon Street in Grange in Westmoreland. According to reports, Brown, 35, was on his way home after attending to calls and visiting his father about 8.20 p.m. on Tuesday. He was walking along a section of Solomon Street when he was attacked by unknown assailants who fired at him, hitting him multiple times. The police were informed and upon their arrival, Brown was discovered in a pool of blood suffering from gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the hospital where he died about an hour after being treated. Members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Defense Force are maintaining a strong presence in Denham Town, St. Andrew, following the murder of a man in the area. The man, who has been identified as Chad Coleman of Wellington Street Address, was shot dead on North Street. Our news team understands that Coleman went to a yard on North Street, which is meter away from one of the security force checkpoints, to make a purchase. When he was attacked by a gunman who shot him multiple times, he was pronounced dead at a hospital. The gunman reportedly escaped on foot. <laughs> So this man was caught in the process of trying to rob a credit union in Mandeville. He was caught both by security forces and the police. He was slightly injured, but nothing for talk about. Right now, if you just take it as him get a second chance at life, go on a jail, go on run off your time, get a little skill in your head and come back and be better. Don't come back and be worse because the next time, you're not gonna make it people the full video will be available in all our groups so you can go down below in the description click any one of the link them join the group and the video will be there or you can just run on over to our instagram page the video will be uploaded there at chop city tv that is c-h-o-p-c-i-t underscore tv the police have apprehended a suspect in connection with the shooting death of a woman and the injuring of a nine-year-old in Spanish town. The deceased has been identified as 24-year-old Alicia Allwood of Mansfield Avenue in Spanish town, St. Catherine. It is reported that their home was invaded by gunmen last Friday. Following investigations into the incident, police quickly identified and detained a suspect the following day. The suspect was picked up in Spanish town where he lives, the police say. It was reported at about 7.45 p.m. on Friday, residents heard loud explosions and informed the police. Upon the arrival of the lawmen, Allwood was found in a pool of blood and her son was found suffering from gunshot wounds. Allwood was pronounced dead at the hospital while her son was admitted. Allwood, who was before the court for breaches of the firearm act, was reportedly out on bail at the time of her death. The St. Elizabeth police today listed two individuals as persons of interest. They are Dwayne Morris, otherwise called Sharky, of Barbary Hall District, St. Elizabeth, and Seymour Mullins, otherwise called Max, of Jointwood District, Mogarty, also in St. Elizabeth. Detectives believe that these individuals are able to assist them with information about an ongoing investigation in the division and are asking them to contact the Black River Police or any other police station by 10 a.m. on Friday, October 21st. A man is dead and a woman is nursing gunshot wounds in the hospital after they were shot by unknown assailants at Erdford Westmoreland moments ago. 
Commanding Officer of the Westmoreland Police Division, Senior Superintendent Wayne Joseph confirmed the incident. The identity of the deceased is not yet known, however, unconfirmed reports are that the deceased is an ex-soldier. Unconfirmed reports are that the injured woman reportedly operated a business with the now deceased. A saint and woman is now battling for her life in the hospital after she was hit by a car in Bambo in the parish on Wednesday afternoon. Reports are that the woman, who is a resident of the area, was hit while crossing the roadway when the driver of a motor car overtook a truck and mowed her down. Police report that the woman, who is believed to lost both of her legs in the incident, was rushed to the hospital around 3 p.m. An alleged eyewitness said the motor truck had stopped to allow the woman to cross the road. The driver of the car sped around the truck, eating her. The driver of the vehicle is now in police custody after he was attacked by an angry mob who is allegedly said to have also started to set the vehicle ablaze. The police were said to be on the scene as residents have also threatened to block the road. Viewers and subscribers, I don't know when we are going to learn or how, but me I pray and me I hope soon. Overtaking a truck is like overtaking around a corner. You don't know what around there, you don't have no form of knowledge or you have to buck up in it, but you just do it. You do it anyways because you don't have no patience. You don't know how to stop and wait. How can you just fly around one truck, sir? You don't must expect say something around there while the truck stop. It has to be a reason why the truck stop. The truck not just stop so. And out of most things when I really sit right with me now is the fact say you just fly around and lick down the woman. If you see a truck stop and you want to go around because you wonder as to what is happening. You not take a little time and go around and blow while you go. It is obvious that you never do that. You just fly around the truck. You just fly around and boops and lick down the people eh? Then what you would expect that to happen? Me sorry, said the police come. The police come a little bit too quick because some of these things are not mistake. All me I tell you, you for thank God said the police them come because the people them did to deal with their way. Yeah man, you hear all the vehicle them did want to catch, them a black road, the people them sick and them tired of it. And me glad say they must stand up. No, no is the time when them for stand up against these things because as I say, 95% of the time, these things are not accidents and they are not mistakes. You know, just not have no form of patience. Me don't know which part I run left, you know, but let me tell you, no run it down. Don't run it down because you know, I go put on yourself in a problem. If you know, late for go somewhere, it is better to be late than you don't reach any at all and you going around that truck you could have claimed your own life you could have claimed your own three points and not just lick down this woman is he that one go park the vehicle them and learn for have patience on the road because when i know the cell phone are hurt when you out there and i hurt other people take on a time on the road it is just that simple Six persons were shot, one fatally, by men traveling in a Toyota Voximoto car in Orange Hill, Brown, Sound, St. Anne. Reports reaching our news team is that the incident occurred shortly after 12 p.m. Reports are that a group of persons were gathered at a section of Orange Hill community when a black Toyota Voxy was driven up. Two men alighted from the vehicle and opened fire at the group of individuals before escaping in the awaiting car. When the shooting subsided, six persons were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were assisted to the hospital where one man was pronounced dead. The condition of the other injured persons are not yet known at this time. No motive for the blazing daylight gun attack has not yet been determined by investigators. A manhunt is now ongoing by the police to locate the hoodlums who carried out the shooting.